Welcome back to the Sheffield United career mode. You join us in the relegation zone of the Premier League. It's not been the most amazing start to the season. Douglas Louise certainly hasn't hit the ground running, that's for sure. And in the Premier League, Cameron Archer, or just in all competitions, Cameron Archer is apparently now proving to be the best striker we have at the club. Juba Akpom hasn't gotten going yet, and we could very much do with some points today. Admittedly, with Man United, Manchester City, Tottenham and Liverpool in four of our opening six fixtures, it's not been a straightforward start to the Premier League season, but it's still not been a great start to the Premier League season. So I'm hoping to get more points on the board in Europe, which we will look to do at the beginning of today's episode here now, whilst we won in the first game against LASK, the Europa Conference League uh, group stages on paper, a walkover. So we should very much be expected to top this group. But we can't let European distractions get us away from what so far has been a very lacklustre start to the Premier League year. And we're looking to improve that today. We'll sim the cup games and the European games and play those in the Premier League. Because rather evidently, we need to start putting points on the board there before we concentrate firmly on... European football, but certainly there is the opportunity. It's Cameron Archer scores again. There's the opportunity to extend our lead at the top of the European table. What I don't want to do is win the Europa Conference League, but nearly get relegated like West Ham did last year. I want to win the Europa Conference League and finish in the top four in the Prem, which we absolutely have the capability to do. Just need to be better and go and do it. Do drop the video a like, of course, as ever. It really helps the content. I'd appreciate it and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the remainder of this save. Or, of course, uh, FC24 when it comes in the not-too-distant future at all. But for now, we're going to concentrate on getting everything done in the here and now, which hopefully will be winning against Silkeborg and then Premier League games after that. Archer on the break. Bogle. There we go. Juba Akpon with the assist, Cameron Archer with the second for himself and ourselves, and that's going to be three points again in Europe, Tar very much. Oh, nice! That's the first thing Djokovic has done, other than grab an assist in the last episode, and, well, he's just taken it around, like, literally around someone, and then finessed it home. We lead by three, Djokovic off the bench at half-time alongside McBurney and Lowe, and, well, that's how you make an impact. It's Mr. Tengstert. That's how you make an impact. Silkeborg pull one back. A 3-1 win. Very handy indeed. Did Mulder win? They did not. They drew. So Mulder will be second in our group on four. We are top with six. And now we very much could do with some more points in the Premier League as well. Wolverhampton Wanderers away from home next. Wolves line up with a very strong front line, but working back, it just kind of gets worse and worse. You see their back line there. Tom Davies, Joao Gomez, and Mateus Nunez. Nunez we've seen as 85. Uh, Gomez we've seen as 81 in our scouting during the summer window for a new midfielder. Neto, Cunha, and Quedes are very good up top as a front three. But the further you go back up the line, just in general, the worse the team gets. They, I've mentioned it in a video last season. It, it did get seemingly a relatively positive response but Wolves would probably be a very good kind of mid-term sort of stave and it's not like a quick Chelsea or a long-term Cambridge but certainly there is work that needs to be done at Wolverhampton Wanderers and that'd be a good little mini RTG almost for FC24 or beyond depending on what happens to them in real life but at the minute god Jesus they really are not very good. Reinders. Oh, neither was that. Cunha. Well in. Spinat Sola. Mateus Nunez. Douglas Luiz with him. Marshalling him well. Joel Gomez. Well, that was travelling. Very much so towards the top corner. But a comfortable enough save for Dean Henderson. Go on, Cameron. Needs to support. It's coming. That was meant for Douglas Luiz. Never mind, Dragovic. And Akpom, Chuba, he's back. Chuba Akpom off the mark. Can feel the relief in that away stand. 
and in my office as well. Tuba Akpom is on the score sheet in the Premier League once again. We are level. No, we're not level. We're in front. They haven't scored yet. Neto, little back heel. Doherty. Cunha. Oh, beautifully through the gap. Davis looking for the squared ball. He's got to shoot. He's got to shoot. Can't give up opportunities like that. Might not get another chance. That clear cut. I'm going to try and get that through there to Tuba, who's in. Akpom on his left this time. Craig Dawson is apparently the fastest man known to human race. Up we go. Oh, not this back. Dragovic. Oh, Jesus. I bet that hurt. Maguire. Strike. I bet that hurt too. Get in the back of the net. Buka with a good save in the end. I'm trying to find this second goal. It won't come at the moment. Up we go. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll try. <laughs> we'll try again. Douglas Louise. Hanko. He wants this goal, David Hanko, but he just can't get it. Corner from the far side. Mateus Nunes to deliver, and ooh, dangerous advantage played. Okay, I didn't realise I'd pumped that long there, but pump it long we have, and lose the ball we have, but we'll get it back for a handball. 18 minutes to go. I brought Carl Walker on for a booked Jaden Bogle because a lot of their play at the minute is coming through Gonzalo Gordes on this near side. And I was a little bit worried that Bogle will end up making a foul and getting sent off. Walker will deliver a ball, which is sublime. And that's the difference. Carl Walker delivers again. Another teasing ball that doesn't quite find its target. That's the quality that Kyle can offer you. Douglas Louise mopping up nicely. I haven't been wowed by Douglas Louise yet, but at the same time, he has been impressive with what he has done, if you know what I mean. Like, he doesn't do anything wrong. He doesn't do anything that's superbly spectacular either. Quick one-two hit. Archer onto his left, looking for Tube through the gap, but maybe that's a pass too many. Ten to go. Still, we lead by one goal to nil, and hopefully we will extend that between now and the end. This is opening up a little bit for Wars now. And time is running out. Oh, he's missed it. Strike, safe. Thank the Lord for that. Man in the middle there had a good opportunity to just pick the ball off there. And he missed it in its entirety. Very nearly. We found ourselves being equalised on. Can't afford that. Ah, it's a heavy touch. Can't afford that either. Three minutes added on. There is time. And Guedes is in behind here. Maguire in the way. Thank you, H. A captain's input at the death to ensure that we get our victory. And that's naughty from Guedes. And he might be in trouble here. The ref's going to go to his back pocket, I think. And indeed, he does. A late red card for Wolves. I made the... Oh, Jesus Christ, yeah. You can tell that that's a red card. I made the change to deal with Gonzalo Guedes defensively because I thought I might end up getting a red. In the end, it was he that gets the early bath. Although it's not that early because it was like the 92nd minute when it happened. 94 minutes played. Three points earned. We're starting to get back to business now. Shuba Akpom off the mark as well. Wolves certainly had a better second half than they did first, but we dealt with it. We got the clean sheet and we'll push forward into the next game, which is Everton in the league. Back at home, absolutely a winnable tie. We're 12th now, not bloody 18th. Everton line up without Jordan Pickford. They've sold him. Nikita Hyken in goal for them. Patterson, Miranda, Elastondo and Ike Nuri, a new signing. Socek in the holding role. Nico Williams, Onana, James Garner and Dwight McNeil. With then Arnaut Danuma up top at striker. They've just signed Cali Muendo. He's on the bench as well. El Chucky Lozano is on the bench too. But of course, our Douglas Louise we signed from Everton, not from Villa. So this is technically his first game against his former side. So hopefully we can... Whoa, challenge. Oh, we won the ball, though. Yeah, just the telling off. I don't think he even needed that, to be honest, ref. So we'll see how Douglas Louise does. We'll try to build on the last game. Mike Nuri to Garner. Somehow that's reached Dan Yuma. No corner, please. Good save by Dino. Hmm. I wouldn't say it's been all Everton, but certainly the early chances created so far have come from Everton shirts. We'll get a big switch in here. Bogle. Well, is that foul? Maybe. Danuma played in. He's away from my ear. I'm going to have to come across with uh, Harry Maguire here. That didn't necessarily need the touch there, Dino. It was going wide, but he's made the save nonetheless. It's uh, 
Still all Everton, really. Oh, I thought he was going to go down the line, try to slide in the way and block it. Failed. Douglas Louise also failed with that interception attempt. Harry Maguire certainly did not fail. And Cameron Archer could maybe be sent through the channel here. Do I try and play a ball in there looking for Tuba? I can try. It hit a hand and it's in a very good position. Now, Douglas Louise, I imagine, has the best free kick accuracy, which indeed he does. He doesn't have quite as good a power stat, so I will put a bit more power on it myself. And this hopefully... Oh, we'll find the top corner was the plan. My first shot of the game comes from the set piece and goes straight into the wall. Hank goes up, though. That's going to fall for Harry Maguire. We'll knock that back. Douglas Louise probably has a decent long shot, but I'm not going to try it. No, I'm not going that way. Oh, I'm not going any which way at the moment. There's no room. Christophe Rayer looking for Tuba. Akpom at the near post, maybe. Aritz with the block. Oh, Alistondo in the way. And Hikins clean seat. Maintains itself for now. Half an hour in, it's still nil-nil. Chances are starting to come for us now. Taking a little while to get going in the game. But now we're going. Hopefully we won't stop. Oh, no, no, that was delicious. Lovely little knee control over the top of two players. James Garner from range. That is not going anywhere near the goal, though. Everton having to resort to shots from distance now. As we've found our defensive solidarity. We're stopping them breaking through the lines. But still, neither team can find a breakthrough. Chamberlain. Come on, Cameron. Oh, go on, Tubert. Uh, go on, Tajani. Rangers! It's in! It's in! In... Erling Haaland and Kevin De Bruyne a style from earlier in the season. Off the underside of the bar. About that far over the line. We're in front. And it has been coming of late. It was all Everton for the opening 25 minutes. And then we finally found our feet in the game. And just pushed and pushed and pushed. And at last, there is a goal in this fixture. And certainly, as you'll see it play on again, it was a little bit further over the line than just that. There you go. Bosch. A good six to eight inches over. Get in. Dan Yuma. Oh! If I'd have made contact there, there might have been a lot of trouble. What a through ball! James Garner's in, and for the second time, this time from closer range, he blazes over. Jimmy! You've got to be better than that. Wow, that is a really clear-cut chance. Unbelievable through ball to find him in the first place. Completely broke our defence. We've got five defenders back there and none of them decided they wanted to pick him up. Spin at Sola. Will deliver. Looking for the man at the back post box. They Chamberlain can't be found. Douglas Luiz. Nope. Can't get the rebound as it falls. So check. Oh, it's going to reach Dan Yuma. He won't miss, surely. You lucky boy! Another rebound for an opposition team this season. Dan Yuma's first effort, well saved, and it just pops right up in front of him to just go bonk into the back of the net. Lovely diving header animation, but he could have just stood there and nodded his head and it would have gone in. Everton are level after an hour. We need to go and score again. Ike Nuri. Oh, that's a lovely little dink. It's a great first touch by Dan Yuma, and it did strike Harry Maguire's arm. Ah, this is going to be awkward. Dan Yuma with the free kick. In a goal-scoring position for sure. Garner lays it off. And Nico Williams draws a good save at a Hendo. We'll keep that in play as well. You can see the big right arm swinging at it there to ensure that it didn't go in. But it was a nice idea from the free kick. And it very nearly worked. Can we, though? Catch them on the counter from their own set piece. We'll go here. Then we'll go there. And Ollie McBurney has the support to Johnny Reinders. And to change direction. Reinders! Hiking makes the save. No second for Tajani today. Douglas Louise will take the corner as Oxley chamberlain has now gone off. Oh, can I win that? Nod it down. It's bobbled free, but it's cleared by a defender. Up we go, please. It's our ball. Thank you. Douglas Louise, Tijani sent one man to the ground. Look for Cameron Archer. Cameron, head to the box. Oh, he's offside. Come on, Cameron! Stay the right side of the line! Still, there is enough time. Still, there is enough time. Low, looking for Archer. Go on, Oli. Oh, oh he's somehow, he's somehow come away with it. Oli McBurney! I don't quite know how he's done it. The defender puts his head in his hands. He can't believe he's not come away with the ball there. They're not going to come away with any points either, Everton. No ball, no points. Three for us. And Oli McBurney, very lucky. But they were lucky with their goals, so I'll take it. 
Oh, he's just taken one touch and his first touch bobbles it up so high that he actually then has to lift his left leg up to try and get the ball under control, at which point Oliver Burnley's taken it off him and he's got it right underneath his feet, gets it out of his feet, just sweeps it under the keeper. His third goal in seven games on him at Burnley. At the moment, it is looking more likely that Chuba Akpom is the striker to make way for a new man in January at the minute. We're falling out of love with Chuba. He's turning into a bit of a... One and a half season wonder at the moment, which is not necessarily great for his career. Thomas Sotek tries to find Dan Yuma. Sotek in the box, get a block in, well done. We should. Ah, poor clearance. Yes, we should see it through from here. Lozano's on the run. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Thank you, Dino. Another save for Henderson to make. Callum Mwendo comes on for the last few seconds. The home fans are whistling, waiting for that final one to go. The keeper is up. Dragovic gets up and heads it. It still falls. I've no idea what's going on. That was pure chaos in the box. I think Callum Mwendo was offside, and that will be the final action of the game. Pie in the mouth stuff at Bramall Lane, but we do have the victory, and our league position is surely going to continue to improve as these results continue to come in. Chelsea 2, Newcastle 0. Manchester City winning again, of course, as you very much expect them to do. We've still got plenty more to come today. A sim against Mulder on the way next after back-to-back -back victories in the Europa Conference League. We're very much expected to top the group. And in the Premier League, we are up to 11th now, very much out of the relegation zone and only four points off the Champions League spots. Let's keep that going. Right, Molder away to Norway we head after being in Denmark most recently against Silkeborg. It is, on paper, a very straightforward group stage. So far on grass, it's been a very straightforward group stage. But we're 1-0 down in the ninth minute through Borussia, so this one might not be quite so straightforward. Go on, go on. Yes, there's the equaliser. Gus Harmer's the man to find it. We are level away from home. It's a 1-1 draw in the end. Very even game with minimal chances. Lask beat Silkeborg in their game in Denmark away from home. So that's going to make the group actually quite open at this stage. If Silkeborg had won that... Oh no, Silkeborg actually have lost all three games. For some reason I thought Silkeborg had beaten Mulder. They haven't. Okay. So Silkeborg are kaput. Uh, Lask and Mulder are fighting then for that second spot, but we look relatively comfortable for top of the group. What we don't look relatively comfortable in at the minute is the Premier League, and I'd very much like to uh, beat Arsenal if we can. Harry Maguire still growing up to 82 now, up to this year. Love to see that. Gus Hamer is up a little bit as well as Christopher Ayer, I think, is up to 79. Oh no, he's up to 81 now. Okay, go on, son. He's flying. Right, Arsenal next. Ha, it's really. There, there just aren't any easy games anymore, are there? Ever. Arsenal with Ramsdale still in goal for them. Ben Johnson at right back. Yuri N. Timber, Sally Su and Zinchenko. Erdogan, Rice and Havertz in a predictable midfield three. And Saka Jesus Martinelli in an equally predictable front three. Sally Su is going to be solid for them. Yuri N. Timber obviously in real life has picked up that long-term injury, unfortunately for him. But he'll be very, very good for them in this save. 84 rated at the moment. Cameron Archer starts up top alongside Ollie McBurney. And hopefully they can fire us to glory here. It's been at Solo who has Reinders in a little pocket of space. The space is gone, but it's opened up again. And Reinders could set Archer through. Just worried about the offside trap. Archer. Oh, saved onto the post by Ramsdale. That finesse shot trait for Cameron Archer starting to show itself as he grows a little bit more. 77 rated now, and I'm sure it won't be long if he continues with his... Fantastic season that he's had so far. It won't be long till he's in the early 80s, but Gabby Jesus is in the mid 80s, but he can't find the back of the net either. Both goalkeepers on form so far. That press from Arsenal, though, is going to be really troublesome, but thankfully, Hanko's dealt with it. Bogle, Dragovic. I see Spinazzola in some space on this left side, but it's Tijani Reynolds who's in the box. Oh, I just got away from him. Hasn't gone away from him anymore. He's in. Cameron Archer. Come on, then. It's not quite accurate enough. I'm trying to get it into the corner with these finesses. And they seem to be pretty central. Douglas Louise with the corner. Oh, yeah, backed away from it. He didn't back away from that, though. Strong header. 
but straight at Ramsdale. He's had a lot to do in the opening few minutes, but he's done it all very well. Jesus, ah, oh, through the gap. Erdegaard, well in, Hanko. It's been rock solid, David Hanko. Very impressed with him so far. Not sure if there are any rumours of him leaving Feyenoord in real life. I believe he's highly thought of. We'll wait and see. Archer, it's Reinders. Oh, to Johnny. We won't get a more clear chance than that. That should be 1 0. Havertz. Oh, he's dummy. He's got to go for goal here, surely. Henderson saves. Open me up. McBurney for Akpom. Time for Tuba to earn his reputation back as the killer that he was last season. Erdegaard. And back. Jesus to Saka. He's not going to score from there on his left, is he? It's just not going to happen. Challenge as well. Well done. Goal kick. I'm trying to get that back to Douglas Luiz. Actually, through there is a gap for Tuba. And that wide is Bogle again. I'm going to tuck this back, I think. Oh, it's meant for Dragovic. He's still on side here. Dragovic wins it for Sheffield United, surely. With 10 minutes to go, we lead at the Emirates. I think it was Saka dropped a bit deeper as the play developed deep on the right-hand side. And he didn't step with the rest of the defensive line. And as such, Dragovic has played on. Has the time and space to turn and pick his spot. And off the far post. No, is it Tavares, the number five? A little bit deeper. Slammed home off the inside the post. And we have ourselves a winning, potentially, goal here at the Emirates. In the As the clock ticks over on the far side into the 80th minute. We are 1-0 up again. Let's go, Mihailo. His first goal for the club. Through the gap. Held up well. Blocked well. Still it comes. Erdegaard burst the pace. We get the block on the ball. It's excellent from David Hanko. How's your touch? Tajani brings it down beautifully. Let's not give it away though. Two minutes to play. Plus stoppage. Please don't add too much on. I know we've had a goal in this half. But don't add any more than two, ref. Don't add any more than two. Three is the decision. Bogle. Akpom in the middle. Tuba, please. Yay! Tuba Rackpom has a goal again. And there's no not celebrating against the former team as he runs off waving an arm in celebration. We lead by two at the Emirates and we'll take all three points here as well. Thank you very much. Oh, drink it in, Tuba. You've not tasted that feeling for a very long time. Or not regularly, anyway. It's a good finish as well, right in the corner. I'm not sure with Tuba, though. Oh, I don't know. I don't know whether it's his time or not. I can't decide. You guys might have to help me in the comments section. But certainly he's made the difference off the bench here to seal the victory for us. And the ref should surely blow his whistle. Right about now. Yes. We've got the Sim in the Cup against Everton to come. And then... Hopefully through to the next round. Everton again then this time simmed rather than played and in the Cup. Very similar lineup to the one that they put out in the league. We've only made a couple of changes with uh, low in and Harmer in for some slightly tired first teamers, but certainly of quality to do the business when called upon and fingers crossed we do do the business when called upon. If it goes to pens, then obviously we'll jump in and take them, but hopefully we can get the business done inside 90 minutes. Or Everton will get the job done inside 90 minutes. Dan Yuma, 1-0 to the Toffees. Level. You guessed it. He starts, he scores. Cameron Archer buries the ball into the back of the net. Oh, the keeper came and didn't get there. Hendo, what are you doing? James Garner, who couldn't hit the target to save his life in the league game, has given Everton a 2-1 lead here. The keeper came rushing for it and just quite frankly didn't get there. That is not good enough from you, Dino. Tuba in the box. Archer off the woodwork. So very nearly an instant response for us. Oh, a free kick in... Well, not that promising a position. And it's not going to lead to an equaliser. 20 minutes to go before we're out of the cup at the moment. We are going to go out of the cup. With just two minutes to go. And Everton in our box. Flashing the ball across the face of it as well. There's not going to be enough time to get it up the other end. We're going to take too long to do so. 
And that will be that. Out of the Carabao Cup then, unfortunately for us. At the hands of Everton, who we just saw off in the league. I'd rather the three league points with our hunt for the Champions League. You'd rather get top four than win the Carabao Cup, if we're completely honest with ourselves. Scouting Luke Thomas, who's just moved to Sheffield United in real life, but it's rather evidently not great. So we won't look to make that a permanent signing that we do in this save as well. Similarly to the Tom Davies one. Right, tomorrow we start with Newcastle. And then, is, is it a busy month? No, it's not that busy a month. Newcastle, Forest and Palace in the league, which will be the three that we play. Then Mulder and Lask. December's a bit more a bit more hard-hitting, but hopefully we'll be able to get through that well enough. And where are we in the league now? Up to eighth. The recovery continues, and we are getting there slowly but surely. Top four. Keep going. We can do it, I believe. Drop the video a like if you've enjoyed it course as ever please subscribe to the channel with the notification bell ticked so you don't miss out on any more fc24 is really not far away now i'll see you tomorrow for more